It's been emotional. I've had friends struggle. I myself have struggled so much this year, um, especially my senior year. I am a DACA recipient. I was brought to the U.S. at two years old. There are a lot of scholarships who require you to be a U.S. citizen, which I'm not. And so I disqualify from those immediately. Um, I'm also um, not able to receive federal financial aid. I actually feel frustrated because I've been here my whole life. I've known Ellie since she was a freshman in high school. Just such a hardworking student, so sincere in her attempt to learn. She was my peer tutor in my Algebra 1 class. Ellie is just such a wonderful role model for the students. So um, she's always kind to other students. So when a student doesn't understand something, she's patient with them. She listens to them. Um, she also models for them being on task, having great behavior. Miss Salt has been huge help. She's been there since my freshman year. She's very welcoming and she doesn't judge. She definitely helped me and a lot of students um, realize that we love math. I love numbers and um, it's like a universal language. I hope to go to UNR. Um, I want to study finance, and I believe that we all undocumented students should have the equal benefits as others since we go through basically everything they go through too. I go protest whenever I can, and I feel like it's very important to get your voice out there. I've written so many letters to governors and senators, and they've like written letters back to me saying that they're doing their best to try to come up help with the solution. My family is my everything and being a first generation student it's kind of hard. There's definitely a lot of pressure to set an example for my siblings. I've been able to have her for all four years which has been wonderful. She's a woman of, of character and, and high integrity and we are lucky to have her um, here at this school and, and here in this country.